In every town, in every country, in every culture, the tallest object, structure, or tree always takes on a significance greater than its physical dimensions. It becomes a meeting place, a beacon, an iconic symbol of the people who live in its shadow. So when that icon is harmed or destroyed, the damage, too, goes far beyond the structure itself. The wound is shared by individuals, by families, by the entire society. The amazing thing about the World Trade Center is that it was two of them, and it was big, and it was brash, and it was at a scale that almost said, that's who we are in a way. That's who we are in a way. It was a symbol of They're supposed to go somewhere near Dresden. I'm really worried that there will be bombing there, and that something may happen to the boys. Pater's not used to a lot of work, and there's bound to be hard labor there. My dearest boy. We haven't quarreled at all since I arrived here, and I don't know what I'd do if he left. September 28th, 1944. The train's already here, and both the boys have already got on it. Pater's number is 2392, and Pavel, 2626. They're together in the same car. Pater's terribly calm, and Uncle is full of admiration for him. It was a horrible sight that will stay with me forever. A crowd of women, children, and old men were pressed around the barracks to get a last look at their son, husband, father, or brother. The men leaning out of the windows were pressed against each other to catch a glimpse of their dearest ones. the boys two slices I fell in love with Anne in Paris while I was shooting Act of Love I kept thinking of her so I called her I received a phone call and it was from Kirk I'd like to have a relationship with you and it's you alone Little did I know. And uh, <laughs> she was so difficult to get into bed. And one day he says to me, my ex-wife is visiting with the children. And I said to myself, aha, this is. These Iraqis are not dying for Iraq. They're dying because they're coming to work for our country. They're dying for America. Day after day, we started to hear about people being slaughtered and being abducted for working for the U.S. government. A young American named Kirk Johnson, who served in USAID in Fallujah, has taken it upon himself to find every Iraqi who has worked for USAID. There's a thousand names sitting in front of you right now, and of the thousand names, only 40 have been processed. Could you explain that? How many more Iraqis are going to have to die until they respond to this?
shared a common purpose, to win the war in Europe and across the Pacific. But with that charge came a test, one that challenged our core values and forced us to question our accepted beliefs. The honest truth is that I don't want to leave the shipyard. I took a last look around, realizing how much I love the smell of hot metal, the frying hiss of the rod, the satisfaction of laying a smooth weld. I shall miss it all frightfully, because it has been ours, our hull, our gang, our yard, our war. The war was not simply an engagement with a visible enemy on the battlefield. It was a crucible for change at home that led us into the modern era. And it left us a profoundly different nation than we had been that moment just before the first bomb dropped at Pearl Harbor. It seems to me you should be...